an introduction to Lambda. AWS Lambda is part of Amazon Web Services compute family of services. AWS Lambda was announced at reInvent in November 2014. Lambda became generally available in April 2015. At the time of introduction, Lambda only supported Node.js 0.10.36. AWS Lambda now supports Node.js 4.3.2, Java 8, and Python 2.7. I would note that Node.js 0.1036 is deprecated and as of October 2016, you will no longer be able to create functions using this version of Node.js. What is Lambda? AWS Lambda is a small, lightweight execution engine for a single function. Instead of maintaining and building a large fleet of EC2 instances and a large code base, you instead can write small, specific functions to perform the required tasks. Lambda functions have two main execution methods, request response and event. Request response is the method you would use when you expect a response from a request. Examples when integrating with AWS API Gateway. An event execution method is instead when you perform a function based on a triggered event, the response is maybe in the form of object stored in S3 or a document updated in DynamoDB. AWS has many integrations built into many of their services. A few examples are here. AWS API Gateway. API Gateway provides you with a way to build APIs that can be backed by Lambda to respond to HTTP POST and GET requests. API Gateway is often used with AWS Mobile SDK to build mobile applications. Amazon S3. S3 can provide events when certain triggers occur which can cause a Lambda function to kick off. This can be used for such things as resizing images. AWS CloudFormation AWS Lambda can provide custom resources to interact with either AWS services that may not have CloudFormation support, your own tooling, or other third-party services. AWS Kinesis Lambda can be set up to pull a stream and read records off the stream and do manipulations. AWS CloudWatch Events This integration is best used for scheduling AWS functions in a cron-like fashion. AWS DynamoDB When certain events happen within a table of DynamoDB, you can kick off a Lambda function to manipulate that data. AWS SNS. The AWS SNS service can have an AWS Lambda function as an execution point for any message and can process the payload as required. There are several other integrations that AWS provides, but we will be briefly going through these ones later in the course. How does Lambda compare to traditional stacks? AWS Lambda is a highly scalable service that provides reduced administration costs and simpler setup than traditional multi-tier application stacks. Comparing a traditional three-tier architecture and Lambda or serverless application stack, we can see that there are significantly less components to maintain. This frees you up to write code instead of managing operating systems and infrastructure configuration. The benefits of the traditional stack is its flexibility. Because you are in control of the stack, you can build it the way you want and are not limited to AWS's view. Of course, as outlined, this comes not only at a cost of time, but will also cost more to run. On the flip side, AWS Lambda or serverless stacks are very simple as much of the complexity of managing and maintaining the underlying infrastructure 
is AWS's responsibility and not yours. This approach, of course, has downsides, one of which is you are currently limited to only three languages. AWS Lambda is very cheap to run. The first 1 million requests per month are free. After that, AWS Lambda costs 0.00001667 dollars per gigabyte second. Let's briefly talk about how the pricing model works. Lambda functions run in a container-like environment where you can specify the amount of memory available to the function. You are then charged on a per second basis per gigabyte time frame. Memory settings start at 128 megabytes and increment in 64 megabyte blocks to 1536 megabytes. The maximum amount of time a Lambda function can run for is 300 seconds or 5 minutes. As with all AWS services, there are other certain limits that should be, you should be aware of. You can only have up to 512 megabytes of ephemeral disk. This is based in slash TMP. This is not a variable you can change. A deployment package or zip file cannot be any larger than 50 megabyte in size. A payload in a request cannot be any larger than 6 megabytes, and you can only have 100 concurrent requests at a time. Some of the limits are available for review and increase by raising a support case. What are the, some of the difficulties you may run into while deploying and creating your Lambda functions? As AWS Lambda and serverless architectures are very new, there are some difficulties you may encounter and the ecosystem is still very much evolving. Versioning and deploying of Lambda functions can sometimes be difficult. There are tools and processes both from AWS and third parties which are starting to assist in these areas. Prototyping and debugging can also often be difficult. Again, people are working on solving these problems and as time goes by, the maturity of these systems will increase. Lastly, AWS Lambda is only available today with three languages. While many discuss how to install and use languages such as PHP and Ruby, and others have even gone as far as building binaries using C++ or Golang, they aren't strictly supported by AWS. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.